I probably need to like work a little bit more. If it wasn't obvious, I've never done this before. So, you know. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay. <laughs> Okay, take two. <laughs> I started this video yesterday, uh, and like I spent like 30 minutes working on a game idea, and then I scrapped it because I <laughs> actually joined this game jam, and then I was like, I, I don't really have an idea for it, so I joined a different game jam, and I didn't have an idea for that either, and then I came up with an idea for it. And then I started writing it. It was for a visual novel, but I just wasn't vibing with it. So I scrapped it and I'm back to this game jam. And I have to come up with a spooky autumn themed game. And I was like, yeah, this is right up my alley. I get terrified very easily. <laughs> and I don't like scary movies. I don't like anything scary. So yeah, you know, also before we get any further, Peep the drip. Peep the drip. Quick fit check. <laughs> All right. I decided to create a simple platform a reminiscent of some of my favorite games from back when I was a kid. I wasn't sure if this was necessarily easier than any other genre of game, but it sure felt a lot more doable than my previous game idea. I'm feeling oddly confident about this. Um... I just want to know, like, for all the game designers out there, how fast into a pro how quickly into a project, like after you start, how fast is it that you want to quit? <laughs> uh, so the idea is you are a character. I haven't decided what you are yet, and you have to go around the world collecting pumpkins, because you know, for gang. <laughs> I'm going for like more of a cute theme rather than like a scary theme. Uh, it's kind of inspired by this video I watched. I'll link it in the... It'll be up here? Up here? I don't know. Uh, an ASMR video I watched that was really adorable by Viva ASMR. I'll link it in the... up there. Uh, yeah. I decided to use Click Team Fusion as the game engine for no other reason than my brother had already bought it and installed it, and I was too lazy to get anything else. So with all that sorted, all I had to do was find some tutorials and work out the character and level designs. But first, I had some urgent business to attend to. Come on. Thank you. One more. I just watched a tutorial on how to make a game. And I think I yeah, I think I got this, you know. I don't know why I don't know why it takes people so long. This looked really easy. <laughs> Being sarcastic. I've gotten the concept done. I did a sketch of the character who I'm going to like the playable character. I based it off this tweet. I'll show it on the screen. Of the mouse, Queenie. Uh because that's such, she's just such an adorable mouse. <laughs> And I have decided that I am going to steal the mouse. I also sketched out a rough design of the level, trying to make it as varied as possible. I don't know if this is the way you're supposed to design levels, but it made sense to me, so I stuck with it. I think I will work on a simple sprite sheet for Queenie and look for some assets and look for some more tutorials because those are like the big three that I need to figure out. And then... Hopefully, if I'm feeling okay tomorrow, then we'll start building the game. <laughs> I'm very nervous, but you know what? It's okay. It's okay. We're gonna do this. My posture is horrible. <laughs> also, there's a light right here, and it keeps giving me this, like, sick lens flare. It's like, my guy, this isn't a sci-fi movie, you know? So I'm trying to cover it. Um, yeah. I guess that's day one, the second day one, because, you know, I tried to do this yesterday. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the end of day one-ish. And I will see you all tomorrow with an update.
Peace. On the second day, I started working on Queenie's basic design and managed to do a rough run cycle animation. I also found some background assets that I would like to use and it was here that I ran into my next problem. I was looking for something like simple and something that looked kind of like hand drawn, like crayon type drawing. At first to go with the style I was envisioning for Queenie, but then I found this one and I fell in love with it and I'm allowed to use it. So I'm using it. <laughs> Problem now is that, you know, I didn't draw Queenie in a pixel art style and I don't know how to do a pixel art style really. So I'm going to either have to find a different like sprite to use for her, but I really don't want to because I like the design I have now. So I'm going to have to go back into the run cycle and change it into a... Sorry, I zoned out. I zoned out. I'll have to change it to pixel art. Figure out how to do that. I also have to find or make. I have to make the pumpkins and any other like special items and stuff. I'll have to make those or find good resources that would fit in the style of the backgrounds that I found. It was a lot of work, but I managed to draw Queenie in pixel art form and animate her as well. This was actually the most fun part of the entire process, adding in all the tiny little details and making sure the animation still looked really fluid, or as fluid as I could make it. That's probably as presentable as I'm going to look. I'm not gonna lie, boys. It's turning into kind of a mess. <laughs> um, today, I don't know what day it is anymore. I've got 11 days, 7 hours, and 55 minutes to finish this game. So, an update on what happened yesterday. Well, the day before yesterday. I finished all the animations, kind of, that I need. I've got just the basic ones. I've got running, an idle animation, and a jump animation. Um, I was supposed to put in a sequence for when, you know, like Queenie gets hurt, like if she falls into like a hole or something, or she gets hit by an enemy. But honestly, I'm very emotionally attached to this rat, and <laughs> I couldn't bring myself to draw her in pain. So I did not do that. I don't know what I'm what the plan is when I get into you know making the game but so then I was done with that and I was like yeah great you know I'm going to do an animation for the pumpkins that you have to pick up in the game and everything and then the next thing to do is building so I woke up the next day which was yesterday and I started animating and I got like halfway through doing the line art for the pumpkin animation and then I realized that the animation I was using as a reference is free to use so I don't know why I wanted to redraw it if it's free to use and I can just like you know use it so that was my dumbass moment <laughs> uh, but yeah glad I caught it before I actually finished the animation so yeah you know I caught that and then I was like oh cool I'm all good to go I can start building the game you know um, and I was like, you know what? I am ahead of schedule because I didn't have to finish the animation. So I can rest today. And I was supposed to do that. I was supposed to sleep early and then wake up and continue working. And then I was like, what if I pulled an all-nighter though? You know? To like kind of reset my sleeping schedule. Because I had, I've gotten too used to sleeping at 8 in the morning. So 
I was like, yeah, let me reset my sleeping schedule. And you would think that I would, you know, do something productive during the night, like the whole 12 hours or however many hours I was awake. I did not. <laughs> I don't know what it is I was doing, but I did not do anything productive. And then I, then it was like eight in the morning and I was like, okay, you're awake now. It's the daytime. Get to work. And then I didn't do that. I watched YouTube for the whole morning. And then Stray Kids released a music video. So then I was busy for the rest of the day. And it's now 10 p.m. <laughs> and I haven't started building the game. Um, but you know what? I'm still feeling confident about this. How fast is it that you want to quit? I'm going to eat dinner and then start building the game. I should probably record myself doing so. But I probably won't. Because I'm tired. I haven't slept in over 24 hours. So that's the plan. I will see you. I will see you. With everything set and ready to go, it was finally time to build my first game ever. The actual process of building the game wasn't actually a whole lot to talk about. I downloaded the assets I was going to use. And following a tutorial, I began by building the background following my design. An upside of Click Team Fusion was that it was very easy to learn how to build the actual level since it's mostly drag and drop. I did have to manually go in and save each tile separately, which was annoying, but as far as I was concerned, things were going great. It was pretty much just dragging and dropping and duplicating all the elements I needed and laying them out as I wanted them. I made the bare skeleton of the level first to make sure that I had a working product before I added in all the bells and whistles. I won't show the whole level design of course because I want it to be a surprise when you play it. <coughs> Link in description. <coughs> Throughout building the level, there were a lot of things I wasn't really sure about, like was the playable area really supposed to be that big? Was I really supposed to just duplicate each element over and over? I still don't know, but hey, it worked out, so it's fine. <laughs> At the end of the day, I was done with the basic level design. With 8 days left on the clock and not much left to add, I was feeling confident. So confident, in fact, that I continued to slack off. This was a mistake. Okay, so it's been a while since I did like a video update because honestly, I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> I am wearing a hat today because my hair was a mess. And I tried to fix it and then it looked more of a mess. So I'm wearing this now and I look even more of a mess. So it's, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. So big update. What is our time check? Our time. I have, I have five days, seven hours, five minutes and 26 seconds. And the game is done. Kind of. Not really. Well, okay. <laughs> See, the problem was, with all the main aspects of the game complete, i.e. the collectibles and the ground to walk on, I had thought that the hard part was all over. Little did I know that all those bells and whistles I was thinking of would take longer to fix than making the actual game itself. So, yeah. <laughs> but, like, it's done. <laughs> the game is done. And... Okay, wait, mm, mm. I was about to start celebrating. I'm not going to celebrate yet. I'm going to celebrate when this timer hits zero. I will be done with the game before that, regardless. But I will only <laughs> celebrate when I will come back. I will film this. When the timer hits zero, that's when I'm going to give my final thoughts. Until then, 
I will get back to work. Peace. Okay. So we've run into a roadblock. There's like, there's like construction going on outside. So sorry for the, for the audio quality. But we've run into a bit of a problem. <laughs> We ran into a few problems actually. So, first, last night, I was finishing up some things with the animations of the characters and all the sprites and all that. I keep hitting things. The animation, si how do I even explain it? The size of the sprite. There's like this huge light <laughs> happening right here. It looks like I'm filming in heaven. What the heck? And. I don't know. I'm um, yeah. Also, peep the drip. So I brought in the animations for the running and the jumping because I I just had like a placeholder animation for the idle animation. Um, and when I brought in the new animations and the originals were like really big, it's like this much difference. So when I brought in the new animations, the sprite kept doing this and man thing <laughs> so i had to fix that and i didn't know how to fix it so i had to just scrap the whole thing and make it again uh and then if that wasn't bad enough there's a child screaming outside fantastic anyway after i fixed the animation sort of i had to fix the speed and the jumping and everything and that took like so long because I had lost those that data like of the speed and the gravity and the jump and everything so i kind of flipped out <laughs> and but i got it done and um then i ran into another problem is that i think i mentioned this already is that the character can run off the screen and then out of the screen and then just keep moving down there and that's not supposed to happen and I, tr I worked for like an hour trying to fix that and I failed. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to bed because today was really busy. So yeah, now I'm back here with one day and a few hours left. And I'm trying to finish this up. Luckily, I don't have any like serious side effects yet so far. So I went online looking for some royalty free music and I found a few that I liked. But what I didn't anticipate was when I brought it into the game, the quality was garbage. Like, it was, <laughs> it was complete garbage. I'll play the song that I found. The original song sounds like this. And this is what it sounded like in the game. And I had no idea what was going on. I had no idea what happened to it. So it took an even longer time trying to fix that problem. <sighs> I'm tired. <laughs> I'm quite tired. And I would like to be done with this game now. So you know what? I'm going to buckle down. I've got a few more things on my little checklist here this um i have to add in a counter for the collectibles and an ending so that you know when the game ends you're not just standing there it's like yay you won you know and then i also have to fix it so that you just don't like get to like run under the screen <sighs> the life of the game designer <laughs> it's not an easy one but that's what makes it fun, right? We're having so much fun. Yeah. With only hours to go and so many hurdles left, the stakes had never been higher. There was screaming. There was frustration. Crying, even. More than once, I thought of just deleting everything, moving to a different country, and pretending none of this had ever happened. And throughout all this, slowly the clock kept ticking. Until finally... I did it. <laughs> the game's done. The game's done. Like, 
I know I've said this like three times already in this video, I think, but like the game is done. It, like it's up, it's done. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> it's been a it's been a ride. It's been a ride. I I I. This has been like what a twelve day journey. I think has it been like I, I think I joined with 12 i don't remember i think i i don't know i don't remember but uh there's 10 hours left to submit i would have submitted it last night but there were some issues <laughs> um with exporting it and also okay <laughs> there were some issues with exporting it and also uh i was really tired from the vaccine and i'm still really tired from the vaccine um I had to figure out how to export it, which was not easy. Um, but I, I exported it, and I uploaded it several times, actually, to make sure that the game was running as well as it could. It's still not. Like, sometimes it just doesn't work or doesn't respond correctly, and I don't really know why. But for the most part, it works, <laughs> and it's up, and I'm done. <laughs> you know so um thoughts and what 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 have we learned from all this um i've learned that i'm never doing this again no, i'm joking <laughs> um i don't know i it's 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 what have i learned um i think this has been a lesson in i mean learning new things obviously because you know i had never used this engine before i've never used any engine before um and you know I had to figure out how to build the game, design the level. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I will make more levels later on. But yeah, um, it wasn't. It was tricky. It was time consuming. I felt like quitting a lot, <laughs> like a lot. You know, it was a lesson in you know trying new things. It was also a lesson on doing things facing your fears i guess would you say doing things that you never thought you could yeah put it like that because like when i tell you i've wanted to make a game for the longest time i was like when i was growing up when i was like what 11 10 i used to be like yeah i'm gonna be a game designer i want to be a game designer i want to make games and i just never even took if any sort of like first step it's weird that you know like something that you've held so like it's it felt so distant could be done just like that like you could just wake up and be like yeah i'm gonna make a game and you make a game <laughs> and you know like it might not be the best game ever but it's still a thing that you made and brought to life and now other people get to play it and that's like it's cool it's, it's scary <laughs> but it's cool you know uh will i do this again probably um but yeah i do want to add like a whole lot of stuff to this game because the concept really interests me so watch out for that um i guess that's it <laughs> i guess that's all i wanted to say if you follow me on my instagram <clears throat> at blue danube link in description <laughs> um then you've probably already seen it and I've already told you all about you. You know all about it. But if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. <laughs> uh, but you can find the game at bluedanube.h.io/slash queenie. Uh, the link will be right here and also in the description if you want to go check that out. Uh, leave a comment. You know, say nice things, please, because <laughs> you know this was my first time playing it and I was nervous. So <laughs> please say nice things about it. And if there's something that you've always wanted to do but you've never really like taken that first step to do it this is my encouragement to you go do the thing and then tell me about it because i want to see it uh well i think that's everything this has also been a weird experience for me but let me know if you enjoyed this format of video uh like the video subscribe and all that and uh yeah peace